Meditation is a gateway. Our divine relationship with God. Meditation. The moment you meditate in the Word of God, you have a, di a direct link or access to the kingdom of God. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. What a gl glorious God, a marvelous God, a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. Greet your neighbor, Emmanuel. Greet your neighbor, Emmanuel. Greet your other neighbor, Shalom. Greet your other neighbor, Shalom. Shalom means perfect peace of God. Perfect peace of God. And then greet viewers all over the world. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. People of God, it's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to be in the presence of God. So I welcome you to the month of divine visitation. Our month of meditation. Welcome to our month of meditation. Walk to three people and tell them welcome to our month of meditation. Greet three people. Greet three people. Walk to them and say welcome to our month of divine meditation. Welcome to our month of divine meditation. Hallelujah. Welcome to our month of divine meditation. Go ahead and welcome the people. Go ahead and welcome them. What a wonderful God we serve. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. People of God, you know, the best place to be is in the presence of God. That's why a song, as one of the greatest songs we sing always, he said, he says, it goes this way. He said, when I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there's anointing. The spirit moves around me. In your presence, anointing me. Oh. So it's only in the presence of God you'll be happy. You'll be joyful. You'll be glad. Praise the Lord. Nowhere else. When you go to Shabin, Immediately after you finish drinking, problem comes. If you go to the nightclub, immediately after you finish dancing, problem comes. If you go to football field, after you finish watching the football, problem comes. You think that will give you joy. No, joy comes in the presence of God. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ emphasized that I pray that let no one, I pray that no one should tamper with their joy. So it is important for you to understand that it's only in the presence of God you find joy. Praise the Lord. So anywhere else is crisis, anywhere else is trouble, anywhere else is problems. Amen. So it is well with you. Bow down your head and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the privilege to come before you this day. The fifth day of the fifth month of the year 2024. We have come, O oh Lord, like Mary Magdalene. We have come with a penitent heart. We have come by living, Lord, that you are able to deliver us from all the problems, difficulties, challenges that we face today. We have come, O oh Lord, with the conviction in our heart that we will never go back the same. Thank you, Holy Father. Many of us have come with a great pain in our heart. Many of us have come with diverse sickness. Many of us have come with diverse problems. 
you know us individually because you know the innermost secret of a man's heart. Father, this month of May 2024, as we meditate on your word, as we concentrate, as we concentrate thinking of you, Father, may you think of us only. May you think about us. May you take away those burdens on our shoulder, those troubles, those powers that trouble us at night and during the day. May you have them arrested right now, right here in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, the King of glory, we thank you. We thank you for this day. Many were not given the opportunity to see this day. But we, your sinful children, the woeful sinners, you grant us the grace to come before you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for this great opportunity. Many are called, but few are chosen. Father, remember your word. That the kings and queens were invited, but they rejected their call. But look at us, your children, who has hearkened to your call. Father, grant us favor this month. Grant us peace this month. Grant us joy this month. Open that doors which no one can close unto us. That effectual and faithful doors of favor, blessings, prosperity, and all godly blessings. Thank you for you have opened that door for us today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that we will never go back the same. Look at the sick ones in the various hospital and the sick ones in our midst. Thank you for healing them. Thank you for healing them. Thank you for healing us of every sickness, every pain, every disease, which we never make known to any man, but you know it which the physicians could not diagnose, you know it. Father, you are the greatest physician and the greatest doctor. Diagnose that sickness right here, right now. And your sickness, hear my word. Hear the word of the Lord. I rebuke you. I curse your root and foundations in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You sickness in the body of my people, I curse your root. You sickness of anger, I curse your root because anger it's one of the instruments Satan used against us. Unforgiveness is one of the roots. One of the instruments Satan used against us. I cast the root of unforgiveness in your life. I cast the root of sickness in your life. I cast the root of anger in your life. I cast the root of poverty in your life. I cast the root of failure in your life. I cast the root of every plan and plus of the enemy in your life. And I rest the power behind it. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Look at your children, Lord. Look at them. I stretch thy hand unto them right now, right here. Those watching us through different media, those on Zoom, those on Facebook, those on YouTube, those watching through Rafa TV, Father, I stretch my hands upon them right now. And I decree that henceforth, the root of that problem is terminated. The root of that sickness is terminated. The foundation of that spirit of anger is terminated. That spirit of unforgiveness, which Satan used to steal our joy, our happiness, our healing, our success is terminated. The root of that spirit of poverty, that idol, that spiritual husband, that spiritual wife, their root is terminated in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. You root and foundation of troubles, prayerlessness in our life, I place you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And I hear you say amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 People of God, it is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with you. May you be seated. May you be seated for you are free. Confess your freedom as you are sitting down. Confess your freedom. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. People of God, remember we are in the month of divine meditation. Meditation in the word of God is a visit with God. The moment we meditate in the word of God, we have divine visitation. That's why the Father emphasized that we should meditate always. We should meditate always, always, always be in the constant meditation. 
Because the more, the more we meditate on the word of God, what is meditation in actual sense? Literal interpretation of meditation is to focus on a particular issue, is to focus on a particular thing and think about it continually. Ponder it always. That's meditation. So when you ponder in the word of God, when you study the word of God, when you act on the word of God, silently, quietly, you are meditation. You are meditating. And as you meditate, remember, when you think about me, I think about you. That's why the very moment sometimes you said, oh, you know, brother, I just pick up my phone to call you. And the person call you. What is that? Communication. Which means you are in agreement with that person in the spirit. It is the spirit that controls the physical. So this is understanding I want you to have in your heart. And if the spirit indeed controls the physical, why don't you go for the things of the spirit? The Bible said those who worship God must do so in spirit and in truth. In spirit. It starts with in, truth, in spirit, then comes the truth. So you have to do that continually. Praise the Lord. I was speaking on Friday night, and I said to you that meditation is a gateway to our divine relationship with God. Meditation. The moment you meditate in the Word of God, you have a, di a direct link or access to the kingdom of God. And that direct link or access to the kingdom of God is what enthrones you. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual enthronement. A spiritual elevation that no one can bring you down. So once you get to that level of understanding that you are now with God and God is with you, there's no one that can bring you down, people of God. There's no spirit, no man, no living, no, no one will bring you down. No angel will bring you down. Because you're not having a dialogue with Father. Look at the case of Job. Job always have a direct connection with the Father. He meditates on the word of God. And because of that meditation that he has with the God, Satan could not penetrate him. Satan has to go to the Father to seek permission in order to attack Job. Hallelujah. He has to go to him. The Bible made us understand in the book of Genesis that when God calls his sons, his sons for a meeting in heaven, Satan appeared. And he said to him, what have you come here to do? He said, I'm going to and fro. He said, no, I know what I know what you're going to and fro. You are thinking about my servant, my son, Job. Yes, I found him good in my sight. He said, yes, that is why I'm here. Because you have protected him all around. I can't touch him. I can't touch his children. I can't touch anything that belongs to him. Why? He could not touch them because Job focused on the word, on the father. When his children come to celebrate at the end of the day, they are all grown up children. They are all matured in their homes. After they eat and drink and go, Job will run to the father and go to his closet and kneel down and say, Father, thank you for bringing these children. Thank you for keeping them. Thank you for keeping them. Thank you for protecting them. Thank you. He begins to appreciate him in his closet. Amen. So for that reason, Satan could not penetrate him. I want to tell you, go to the spiritual, go to the world, the Eastern world today. You see the people that say they are Buddha, Buddhist. They sit down 24 hours only to meditate. Look at you, who has all the powers. Your meditation in one second is enough. Your total concentration in one, in one, one hour is bigger than the 10 years or 20 years they spent. Because Christ has entrusted you with the power. He has seen you. You see, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man come out to the Father except me. Except through me. And if you have said that, and you know very well that is in you, if you can think about him for just one hour, for just one hour, it's bigger than 10 years those people were thinking about him. They cannot get that level. 
because they don't know him, it means they can't get there. Praise the Lord. It means they can't get there. So you are much higher, but the problem we have today, the Christians has forgotten about the Father. They have left their ordinances, the primordial law, kept by the Father. We have moved away from it. We have deviated from it. And the Father haven't seen that such deviation. He called Moses when he, the children of Israel left the land of Egypt. He said to Moses, listen, look at these people. You come to me, sit down, I have that dialogue with you. Look at what they have done. Look at what they have done. To the extent that when they come to a certain place, the Father instructed Moses to go. Remember, he said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way we should. You should go and I will guide you. He said to Moses, sent to have spies to go and check the land where you will meet and hunt, the land I promise you. And when they went, they came back. Two of them come back without problem. They come back. And they brought a report. Imagine 10, 10 out of 12. 10 out of 12. So remaining only two brought a report of negative, of negativity. We are not able to conquer that land. We are too small. We are not, we cannot even try it. We cannot try. Those people are giants. In fact, they are sons of Anak. They are so big that we are dwarf before them. We are, like, we are just like a rat before them. So small. So only when they lift up their leg, they already match us on the head. So how, we can't even hold their leg, not to talk about their hands or their waist. We are so small. But Joshua went further and said, Moses, my leader and my lordship, we are able. Hallelujah. Only that way. Only that what we are able to conquer them. Moses grabbed that. Moses hold on to that we are able. You all hold on to that we are able. So what are you holding on to the people of God? Are you? Can you say you are able to come out of that challenge that has been confronting you? Have you ever said, I'm able to be great tomorrow? Eh? Have you ever said that word? I'm able to defeat my defeat. Those people that have been defeating me. That power that has been defeating me. I am able to recover all that I've stolen from me. Oh God, this is the man to have to say that. Moses, hold on to it. I'm able. And then Joshua also come forward. I mean, uh, Caleb come forward and say, yes, we are able. He come forward and say, yes, we are able. Only two of them. And that's why Moses said, Caleb and Joshua has a different spirit. They have what? A different spirit. May you receive a different spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive a different spirit today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A different spirit is a spirit that knows God. And it's only the spirit that knows God. Because no, in flesh, no man knows God. That's why you have to constantly be in the spirit. He said, Joshua has a different spirit. Caleb has a different spirit. So you have to strive to have a different spirit. Because it's only in the spirit you can know God. That's what the Bible said in the book of Romans, that the, the flesh is always in constant battle with the flesh, with the spirit. The flesh is always in constant battle with the spirit. Because flesh cannot fight flesh, just as the spirit cannot fight spirit. Hallelujah. You can only be in the flesh to fight the flesh. And you can only be in the spirit to fight the the spirit. But the flesh itself is always in constant battle with the spirit. You know, there's a song I always sing, I said, the spirit is here, be a witness. 
We are spirit. Here we are, the children of God. The spirit is here, bear a witness. We are spirit. Here we are, the children of God. So the children of God are the spirit of God. The children of God have the spirit of God in them. And if the children of God has the spirit of God, means the children of God are God themselves. That's how Lord Jesus Christ declared that we are gods. And we have our Father, the creator of heaven and earth, our maker. So you have to always understand that you are not just ordinary. You are a spirit living in this body. Hallelujah. You are a spirit living in this body. And because you're a spirit living in this body, this body does not want you to excel. So in this month of meditation, what you have to do constantly is to pack your problem in the flesh and package it, give it away. And allow yourself, which is Christ, to rule over them. Hallelujah. I know some of us will be asking, how do we do that? We do that. That can only be achieved through meditation. That can only be achieved through meditation. Tell your neighbor, that can only be achieved through meditation and constant prayer. Not just meditation, constant prayer. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, pray continually. Pray continually. Remember we have instruction, this word of the Lord must never depart from you. This word of the Lord must never depart from you. In the book of Genesis, you realize that Isaac, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, from Genesis to Revelation, everyone you read about meditates. Every one of them, they meditate. Hallelujah. Go through the Bible, go through the scripture. I don't know how many of us have been able to read Psalm 119. If you look at that Psalm 119, read it from, from page one, I mean from chapter one to the end of it. You realize everywhere you go, meditation, 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 meditation. And the father emphasized when he instructed Joshua to lead the children of Israel. He said, this book of the law must never, never depart from you. Meditate during day and night that you might observe and do all that I've commanded you. Oh, it's not that you do half, no, all. Oh. Praise the Lord, all. Oh. So people of God, good morning. Stand on your feet and walk to three people. Tell them to meditate on the word. On the word of God. Go ahead, walk to three people, tell them to meditate on the word of God. Because when we meditate on the word, it's when we have a divine visitation. Go ahead, walk to three people, tell them to meditate. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now tell yourself, meditate in the word of God. Tell yourself, meditate in the word of God. Now begin to ask for the grace to meditate. Ask for the grace. Ask for the grace. Go ahead and ask for the grace. Ask for that grace. Because that's the gateway to divine visitation. That's the gateway of achieving all that you so desire. That's the gateway. Ask for that grace. Continue to ask for the grace. Continue to ask for the grace. Continue to ask for that grace. The grace to meditate on the word of God. Go ahead and continue to ask for that meditate. Medi that grace, that grace, that grace. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Take your Bible. While you are standing up there, take your Bible. Open your Bible to Jeremiah chapter 33. Verse number 3. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, call to me and I will answer you and tell you or show you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Great and mighty things which you do not know. How do we do that? Through meditation. 
How do we do that through meditation? How can we achieve that through meditation? How can you call on God? You call him in the spirit and in the truth. Hallelujah. You seek him in the truth and in the spirit. You communicate with him in the truth and in the spirit. Hallelujah. You communicate with him. That's why he said to you in Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. He said when you pray, close your door. When you pray, don't close your door. When you have, might have shut yourself, shut your door, you go on your knees and do what? And call on to me. Communicate with me. Telephone me. Then I will say, here I am. Then I will say, here I am. I will show you those deep things which you do not know. Those hidden enemies, I will make them known to you. Our Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated that. The only time you can talk to God is in your quietness. I want to hold your Bible in your hand and begin to ask God to give you the grace. The grace to study that word you are holding in his hand. The grace to know him in the spirit. Not in the flesh, because in the flesh you will not know him. While you are standing on your feet, go ahead and do that. Hold your Bible in your hand. Begin to ask for that grace. Say, Father, I'm holding your word in my hand. Grant me the grace to meditate on your word, to think of your word all the days of my life. The grace to think about you. The grace to ponder on, your, on the good things you have done for me. I need the grace. Father, give me the grace. I need the grace. I need the grace for your word declared in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7 said, Consider what I said for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Meditation gives us understanding in everything. In everything. Meditation. When we meditate, we get understanding. We're even more than our teachers. We become learned. Go ahead and ask for that grace. 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 In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. While you are still holding your Bible, I wanted to open Psalms, the book of Psalm 77. The book of Psalm 77, open it. In verse number 12, Psalm 77, verse 12, are you there? He said, I will meditate on all your works and most on your deeds. Think about your deeds. I wanted to look at deliverance, what you have gone through, and the Lord save you. The road you pass by. Many people pass through that road, they could not come back home. The house you are living, many people come there. Hallelujah. They never spend three days, they'll get far. The food you eat, the air you breathe, many people are lacking that air. Just go ahead right now while you're holding his word. Say, Father, I'm holding your word. I want to thank you for the air I breathe. For the road I pass, for the vehicles I enter, I want to thank you. Go ahead, concentrate on that. People of God, I want you to take this serious. Take this serious. This is the only way out. This is the gateway to divine atonement, to have a perfect relationship with the Father. Father, I'm holding your word. Grant me the grace. Grant me the grace, O Lord. I'm holding your word. Your word is here and amen. Grant me the grace, Lord. Grant me the grace to hold on to this word. The grace to know you the more. The grace, O Lord, is what I'm asking. The grace to study this word. The grace to know you, Father. Of all the good works you have done for me, sustenance, provision, preservation. Many have gone through the sickness I went through and you delivered me, but they could not come out of that sickness. Many have entered the vehicle I entered and could not get back home. Many passed on the road I passed. 
could not get back home. Father, grant me the grace to hold on your word, to hold on to your word, to hold on to your word, Lord. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Continue in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Continue in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Once again, while you're holding the Bible, turn your Bible to Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12. While you're holding it in your hand, Luke chapter 12. Are you there? Go to verse number 24. He said, consider the ravens, for they neither saw nor reap. They have no strong road, they have no storerooms, no storerooms, no bombs, and yet God feed them. How much more valuable you are than the bears, and which of you by span, which of you by worry can add a single hour to his life, to his lifespan? If then you cannot do it, you cannot do even a very little thing. Why do you worry about other matters? Say, Father, instead of thinking about you, instead of meditating on you, on your word, I was thinking about my problem. But at this day, I hold on to your word. I say, grant me the grace to focus on your word instead of focusing on my problems. Grant me the grace to focus on your word instead of focusing on my problem. Go ahead and ask for that grace. 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 The grace to focus on his word. The grace to focus on his word. The grace to focus on his word. The grace to give attention to his word and teachings. Go ahead and ask for that grace. Father, I am here asking for the grace. The grace to focus on your teaching. The grace to focus on your word. The grace to know that without your word, I'm nobody. Without your word, I finish. Grant me that grace. Father, I ask for the grace. Lord, I ask for the grace. Grace to focus on your word instead of focusing on something that does not, that cannot take me beyond here. Father, you take me beyond this place. You take me beyond this situation. You take me beyond every problem in my family. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the grace. 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 Begin to appreciate him now. Begin to appreciate him for the grace. Begin to appreciate him because he's given to you. That grace has been given to you. That grace has been given to you. That grace has been given to you. Appreciate him right now, right here. Go ahead and appreciate him. Appreciate him for that grace has been given to you. That grace has been given to you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Go ahead and give him thanks. 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 Give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, continue to acknowledge him. Continue to give him thanks. Continue to give him thanks. He's a gracious God. He's a mighty one on battle. He's the great I am. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This book of the law must never depart from me. This book of the law will not depart from me. I have hold it in my hand. I will meditate there and day and night. Father, thank you for the grace. 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 In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Father, I stretch my right hand upon the right hand of your children. For your right hand is power. Father, as they take this hand and touch their, their chest, touch their heart, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, let every hindrances, every hindrances to your word in, their, in our life be melted away. When that hindrances are melted away, sickness melted away, rejection melted away, demonic attack melted away, spiritual attack melted away, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Now take that right hand, place it on your chest. Say from this day, I will think about God only. I will think about my creator only. I will think about my creator only. 
Because thinking about my creator is thinking about his word. Because my God and his word are one. They are one. They are indivisible one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397, plow 278-444-7002, 0114930531. God bless you.